Hi everyone, it's uh, been a while since I posted uh, any new uh, videos and uh, this video is uh, I guess the continuation here of the uh, circulating, recirculating the uh, collapsing uh, feel into the coil and uh, I've got my recirculating diode here and a switch that I can make it recirculate or not and I've position some magnets around the uh, inductor here so that what it does is it lifts the magnet off the uh, surface of the coil there. Or I'll poke on the magnet there. See it's a free floating about a quarter of an inch uh, off the uh, surface of the coil there. That's just so that I'd be able to detect uh, any uh, slight variations and stuff like that helps uh, with the uh, tests and stuff. Um, what I've got at this time as a setup is I'm using my Variac which is feeding this microwave oven transformer which is charging a capacitor here and uh, that's a 3900 microfarad capacitor up to 400 volts cap cap capacity and from that cap capacitor here, I'm using this uh, double pull, double throw uh, relay as a charge and discharge, uh, to charge and discharge my capacitors. So this is my feed uh, capacitor, and the relay will switch over to that and charge this capacitor here, which is 57.61 microfarad capable of 346 volts AC uh, that's a motor run capacitor and uh, I'm putting DC in it and that's fine um, so once that capacitor is charged with 200 volts okay this one at this time is sitting at 200 volts this uh, other meter here is for the other capacitor here which is zero at this time it's empty so they, these two should match when the relay flips over to charge it. And then once it flips back, it'll discon disengage that capacitor there. So it's only this capacitor here. What I'm trying to determine is uh, joule value. So I've got a fixed joule value here that I charge at a fixed voltage. And I'd be able to calculate very accurately uh, you know, performance between uh, recirculating uh, the flyback or not and seeing the difference and um, this is what this video is about and this uh, relay here is actually activated uh, by this 12 volt battery which is activating uh, which is reg uh, controlled by uh, my signal generator controlling a MOSFET here to turn on and off the coil in there so I can set it at a certain frequency but I've got it going really really slow so it's charging the capacitor you can see the charge capacitor being charged and then flopping back discharging this capacitor directly to that coil so that capacitor is not involved only for charging this capacitor then it gets disengaged and this alone is going to feed the coil here and um, I've added this piece here which is a stick which comes up and down and that's to calculate the the height that the magnet is pushing up all right if we look closely here you see the uh, tip here is exposed and I've got a piece of tape now at 200 volts that magnet will kick up and push the stick till that tape reaches about there so I'll start it up for you and you see so now I've got it pushed against the magnet this little piece of wood and now it'll push up with the kick so let's turn on the signal generator here so there's the relay you heard it click and as you see it charges this capacitor and now it'll click onto the other side and it pushed up the magnet there so there's the other capacitor is empty now. It'll get charged, charged back again. All right, and then see it's pushed the stick up, and that's the kick again. 
So that's 200 volts being charged back and forth and then kicking up the magnet from the 57 microfarad capacitor here. And now if we look at our stick, we should find, yeah, our stick is exactly where it was here. You see the little bit of wood starting to expose right there at the end of the tape. So that's as far as that pushes there. All right, there you saw a little bit of an extra push there, and that's about its limit there. Once more, we'll let it go. All right, so that's the device to measure the height that the magnet is being pushed up with the hit of the 57 microfarad capacitor there. Now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to stop the camera and I'm going to readjust it to push the same height, okay, and, but use like, utilizing the uh, uh, flyback uh, diode here to send the energy back into the coil once again, which pushes the magnet up higher with less energy. And I'd like for someone to explain me why this is happening. All right, so uh, hang on there. Okay, we're back. I uh, had to make some changes. Uh, I couldn't get an accurate enough voltage setting using the microwave transformer because it requires a low voltage. Uh, and so I went directly uh, to a full wave uh, bridge rectifier to the Variac and to a, uh, another capacitor. And uh, so the setup here is still exactly the same. We're still charging this identical capacitor. And this is what we'll be charging the capacitor with, uh, basically 84 volts. And there's our dump capacitor, and that's at zero there. And I'll start my uh, signal generator. All right, so now you're seeing that the capacitor gets charged at 84 volts and kicks the magnet. And here's our Relay. Charging the capacitor, discharging the capacitor. All right, there's the same capacitor. And now the switch is on, so the flyback diode is recirculating uh, the flyback basically. And there's our measuring stick, it's still there, and I'll push it down. And now if we look at it right now, it should reach the bottom of the tape there with the next few hits, and it's already reached there. All right, so now we have the same uh, push, okay, on the magnet. The magnet is being kicked up at the same height, basically, but this time only utilizing 84 volts at our 57.61. So if we look at the math, uh, what I've done is, um, just to make it uh, more uh, simple here, we've got uh, 84 volts at uh, 58 uh, microfarad, I rounded it off to 58, and that's exactly 200 millijoules. All right. So we've got 200 millijoules to do the same height of push on that magnet. And let's look at the other one we had previously. We were at 200 volts. And we had 58 uh, microfarad. Right? Uh, what you're looking at is an internet uh, conversion chart and we've got one joule so we're able to push the magnet up with 20 percent of the energy the other way with it going straight into it 
So most likely there's something I'm not understanding and I'd like some help and somebody could explain what I'm missing here. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye.